Welcome to the Halo 3 Metascore Achievement Walkthrough for NextGenWalkthroughs.com. This is Jon Snow here, and we are back after a long break with Mission 7, The Covenant, and we are going for the Vanguard Achievement, and you're going to need 50,000 points to get it. This is the second mission you need it for, the first one being the Ark. The skulls we have on are Tough Luck, Fog, and Thunderstorm, uh, and this is a very short video, so i got to get to it. You just want to clear out a lot of the grunts with um, your battle rifle and save plasma grenades for the uh, brutes like I do here. Uh, a strategy you should know by now is you should not be looking at your grenades. You should always know which grenades you have selected. Uh, and also I'm going to say that this video ends right before the first uh, ground mortar wraith is. So we, t we clear out the landing zone. I hope you did not hear me just drop that quarter. We clear out the landing zone. We uh, get uh, to the Warthog, we stock up our allies in the Warthog, and then we drive on over. We clear out that first little group with that turret, and then this will end before we get to where all the grunts with uh, ghosts are. Now, something I haven't talked about before is co op. Uh, and usually, when you're on a higher difficulty, uh, this is on normal dif difficulty, usually when you're something like Heroic or Legendary, uh, you might want to have a partner in there. You do not want to have a partner if you're going for this achievement. And you think to yourself, hey, hey, Jon Snow, how come? I mean, like, if he's getting, like, 10,000 points, and I'm getting 10,000 points together, we got 20,000, we got ourselves an achievement, right? Wrong. Even if you have cooperative scoring on, the game keeps track of a person's individual score, and your individual score must still be higher than 15,000. So, if you need 15,000, normally playing this mission, you'd get, like, 20,000. It's pretty much going to cut it in half. Because your partner is going to be getting about half the kills. Do not play it co-op, whatever you do. And when it comes to difficulties... Um, oh, yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't cut this part out of me almost killing myself with a warthog. Um, whatever, you can watch me just wait for them to... Oh, I was just waiting for them to drop off the warthog and it gives me more time to talk. And I was watching the pelicans get... Uh, not the pelicans, the hornets get torn out of the sky. Uh, when it comes to difficulties, you're going to want either um, normal or heroic. Legendary is not smart unless you're very good at this game. And right here I cut out about a minute of me getting pretty much a full battle rifle and then give, and the fuel rod gun as my two weapons and giving the marine riding shotgun the Spartan laser because he comes in handy um, quite a bit. The turret actually is, is a little more useful until you get to the... Um, the Wraith, because that laser really helps against the Wraith if you can use it properly. This is actually my second time playing through the Covenant. The first time I forgot to put on one of the skulls, and I ended up only with about like 40,000. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't don't make that mistake. You want three skulls, or you're going to fail us. You're going to be pretty fucking pissed. Um, we got like another 40 seconds here. Uh, next part is part two, obviously, and I've divided this more into each video is like one single battle. It's going to be six parts. So the next video is pretty much just the entire battle for the first tower. Um, so it, it's, uh, you'll, you'll pick up pretty quick how I'm doing it because he, the, the, the reason this mission is so long is because you're spending so much time getting from place to place. And in my opinion, this is the second hardest mission to get the achievement on, the hardest being Cortana. And I will see you next video.